Okay guys, we're going to be looking at part 20. Um, we're going to get the back of the apron installed. We can get the lead screw reinstalled. Both, both um, have their issues and, and we'll see how those were solved and what the issues were. So, um, you know, hang in there, bear with me. Uh, not the most comprehensive uh, video you've ever seen. Uh, new uh, new subscribers. Uh, I'm gonna Mina Dowd. I want to mention her again because uh, I believe I got the name pronunciation right this time. Shadow Spirit. Welcome, Shadow. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Hugh Gilbert, Nigel, John, Jeffrey, and Warren. It pleases me to be able to say those names on here. Okay, guys. Um, enjoy part 20. Hang in there. I appreciate you all doing so. Here we go. can bring this plate up and it needs to go here. Okay, I ran across a little bit of a problem, and um, this thing wouldn't turn. It's supposed to turn. Well, during disassembly, this um, let's, let's go ahead and force it out. No, well, let's not. This plate here. There's a brass plate and there's a steel plate. This plate here, there, it did that. Okay, and that's where it's supposed to be. That's keyed there. Okay, so this was in here. It was turned. And uh, it wouldn't allow this to go in. It wouldn't allow this to turn. It wouldn't clear the, the keyway, this keyway over here. So... If you have that problem, this is keyed. It needs to be, I, I, it'd be nice if I could get that out and show you exactly what my problem was. And, Okay, so there it is. So, basically I was in here like this. Let's get the keyway lined up. And this doesn't turn. It wasn't turning. What the hell? 
Well, it wasn't going in deep enough because this plate here wasn't locking. So you have to find where it keys and get it in there. And uh, and now it turns easily. We'll hold off on that. I'm gonna bring uh, bring this in. I'm gonna line the key up. It's down here. Okay. Now, uh, now we need to pull this back out. We need this on there. And this can either go on here or on this pipe on the lead screw and then in there. So that leaves these threads exposed. And there's your nut for that. And this is your nut for that. And the lead screw is back on. I was perplexed by that. I, uh, I noticed it after I had it off and I know that's supposed to spin and it wasn't spinning and so I just put it out of mind and went on to my next task and uh, had to deal with it tonight. So if anybody encounters that problem, there it is. And there is a set screw on this. There's a 530 seconds. And there's a little brass chip down in there to engage with the threads. And then this just gets snugged up here. And why in, and it turns. <laughs> And that can be clamped down to, I might not do nothing to that. If I feel like anything's getting loose, I'll give that screw a turn, give it a tug. So this rod is going to be a lot longer than these. This is all just going to plug in the end of the gearbox, just as it is. So no worries there. Uh, Next, let's go down to the other end of the other end of this. Okay, so we got our directional shaft that needs to go here. So one of these has a tapered pin and the other one, the tapered pin is missing. I went over that with some 320. I've just been using this cap head here. And then this is gonna go through Let me come down here and give us a tap on this end. That's plenty. Oh, I need a little bit more. Okay, so there's the large Large end. My tapered pin, which is up here. And we'll just uh, give that just a just a little tap, keep it from falling out. Okay, so the next thing is going to be the back cover. It's held on with six cap head screws, or I'm sorry, they're just regular slotted screws. 
slotted head screws. But let me carry that in here and get that mounted. So what we've done so far is we got the lead screw installed. We figured out why I wasn't getting any movement and corrected that. Explained it to you. Uh, we did not disturb this one at all. That's the directional feeds. We got the directional feed direction lever. We got it secured at the back end. And now we're going to go get the cover. Okay, we're lining up on journals here and here. And this is kind of a hinge. Okay, that is in. It's not down yet. But it is lined up. I want to check this sliding piece. Okay, we're going to take it back off. Okay. So 
So I have two, four, six screws to go in there next. screws are longer than the others and I painted those red and I put red on the casting where they go now the uh, apron is officially closed now I want to talk about the elephant in the room and that's this big crack in my casting This isn't going in on the way. Okay, it turns out that this square rod, let's call it, travels from here to here. And I thought it was actuated by the half nut, but it is not. Uh, that has to be in that direction for this to engage all the way down. Now this side isn't down. So, I want to pick up this side. Okay, that rod is not, it has a key. And that fell down now. So, the rod, the metal rod that runs here to here it actually runs the entire length it's right here it is pinned there's a location pin and that thing won't sit all the way down until that rod is secured 
Let me uh, go handheld here. Okay, the last thing I had to do to get this thing to sit all the way down is we have this rectangle rod here. It runs the length. You can just see it there and here. Okay, somewhere right around in here it has a hole in it and there's a location pen there and that has to be engaged. So it's get it down tight, move this thing around, pushing either end until it drops into its hole. Now the apron is closed. All the screws aren't in yet. Let's do that while we still know where they're at. There's the last one. I don't know how serendipitous it was that I happened to pick up some brazing rods, but uh, we've got a crack here. So I'm thinking I should drill a hole at the end of it, V it out, and put some bronze in there. All I have is map gas. That may be a project for the future. Let's go ahead and uh, put on my end cap here. Again. And it's going to go like this. And we got ring and I believe that's a number I believe that's a number three taper there and we'll go ahead and send that home that's the last time that's coming off in my presence okay my uh, copper headed hammer made on the on the lay there getting used well used so the next thing huh, the next thing is I gotta tighten some screws okay that's it for this part um, the next thing we have to do is hang this up on the crane and um, plug it in there just lines up on one journal down here. It just lines up on uh, this journal. Lines up here. And this shaft, rather. Lines up here. These two gears, you can see they're, they're spaced at different depths. And there's the gear change the shifting for those two positions um funny story i uh <clears throat> i was messing around with these screws at one time and, and for some reason i i put i put a couple screws in here and um Put everything back together i'm missing two screws so after a few days i remember that these screws are in here well they're sitting down at the bottom down there they're not going to jump up into the gears or anything they're not hurting anything but i think um, brian block convinced me to get them out of there which wasn't a great task i just loosened up the uh the four three remaining screws and um, pried it open enough to get a magnet in there and pull those two out and get them installed. This is my uh, apprehension here, the linkage that goes from here 
down here, getting all this hooked up. And I just seem to go about it wrong and make it a hell of a job harder than it should be. So I'm going to figure out how to do that the easy way this time and, uh, and get on with life. So that's it. I guess probably part 20 maybe. I don't know. I need to take If I still have the raw footage, the original videos, I need to really edit what I've done and get rid of all the bullshit and just show how to do this. So it was my intention in the very beginning, but somehow I get off on new subscribers. So, very happy to be able to read these new subscriber names. Mina Dowd and Hugh Gilbert. Mina has um, been mentioned before, but I think I finally know how to say her name, so I'm gonna try it again. Mina Dowd in Shadow Spirit. So Shadow Spirit, Mina, Hugh, Nigel, John, Jeffrey, Warren. It tickles me that you guys uh, are coming along. I'd love to get, I'd love to see the channel grow. Um, it's not what I'm here for, but it's human nature, I think, to, uh, to want to see that growth. And also, um, having over a thousand subscribers has its benefits. Um, one of which I believe is you can do live streams at that case, at that point. So whether I ever do that, who knows, but I'd like to get to that stage and have that option. So tell a buddy, bring a friend. One day I'll tell you where that saying comes from. Hey, it's Buddy from Buddy's Carpet Barn. I don't care about making money. I just love to sell carpet. Is that it? Where did I get the other part? So bring a buddy. Tell a buddy, bring a friend. Whatever. Yeah, that was a commercial radio ad that I listened to growing up. I don't care about making money. I just love to sell carpet. Buddy. Buddy's Carpet Barn. Dayton, Ohio. This doesn't look right. See, I wish I had some still photos of this. I mean, no doubt it's going to work. It just doesn't look right. Now, your memory is a funny thing. That's the top, that's the bottom. There's a locating pin here. There's a locating pin here. There's three. And there's two. I'm a bit put off by, by this hole here. It's not threaded. Let's see what it looks like inside here. Okay, we're going to have to go underneath this felt. Let me grab a hemostat. Okay. That's an oiler for these gears. That's a hell of a piece of felt there, isn't it? It's over an inch thick, I tell you.
Okay, let's put that down here until it gets cleaned. Alright guys, thanks for watching.